What's up everybody? Um, today we are going to do a quick tutorial on how to enable soft wrap inside of uh, PyCharm. So this is one of those things where soft wrap essentially uh, will break the lines uh, here at this vertical bar and it'll take it down to the next line which will make it easier for us to read. Uh, but when it's doing a soft wrap, it is not actually creating a new line. It is just visually uh, making it appear to be a new line. And we'll be able to see that in the line count here. So if we want to do this the quick and easy way just for this file, you can right click on the sidebar and you can just go ahead uh, and click the soft wrap. So here, as you can see, the line numbers still says one, two, three, a bunch of lines, four, five, a bunch of lines, six, seven, a bunch of lines. So we've officially soft wrapped here. Uh, so then what else we could do is if you right click here, uh, you can click soft wrap again and now everything goes back to normal. Um, so what else uh, you can do is let's say that you always want it to uh, soft wrap your files for you. Um, you don't want to have to uh, do this for each file. So what you can go ahead and do is you can click on file and then you can go to the settings option. Once we're in the settings, we are going to go to the editor and then we're going to click on general. And then we can see here that we've got soft wraps. And for me, it's already enabled on any MD, TXT, RST, or ADOC file. Uh, but what I would like this to be is for all of my Python files, for example. So I'm going to go star.py and then a semicolon there to end. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is let's say you don't want a soft wrap automatically. You can uncheck this box. You can change whatever files you want, add, remove. Uh, and as you can see, it says you can use the, what, the wild card. So now that I've applied it, uh, what we're going to observe is that it didn't do anything. And that's because it's going to take effect on newly open files. So if I go ahead and close this, and then we reopen our soft wrap.py. Now you can see that it automatically soft wrapped the file for us. Uh, so as you can see, this was super easy um, to enable soft wrapping. If you learn best uh, via step-by-step uh, -step instructions, make sure to check out my blog link. It will be in the description below. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And make sure you uh, tell me what you, what you like and what you want to see next uh, so I know what content I, I need to deliver to you. And make sure, most importantly, just have a great day. Talk to you next time.